so in reflection of the sound that is as you know that sound gets reflected at the surface of solid or liquid and follows the rules laws of the reflection in previous that is in 7th standard and 8th standard as we discuss about the laws some laws of reflection that is as you know that the incident angle and reflected angle okay both are equal incident angle and reflected angles both are equal suppose incident angle is 30 degree then incident that is reflected angle is also 30 degree okay and second law that is uh, incident ray reflected ray and normal all are lie in the same plane so these all these are all these twos are laws of reflection first what is the first that is incident angle and reflected angles both are equal second one incident ray reflected ray and normal all are lie in the same plane okay and uh, afterwards that is uh, that is activity 12.5 we discuss okay in this activity that is uh, take we have to take first two identical pipes sufficiently long okay as shown in the figure okay so there are two identical pipes okay and arrange them on a table near the wall okay as shown in the figure so arrange them arrange the two pipes okay sufficiently identical pipes you have to be arranged on table near the wall and keep a thick hard board in vertical position okay at the normal between the two pipes and keep a clock ne clock near the open end or one of the pipes so near the one pipe you should be kept the one clock as shown in the figure now try to hear the sound of the clock through the other pipe by adjusting the position of pipe okay so that you can hear a clear sound of the clock okay first what you take take the two identical pipes okay and arrange them on a table near the wall okay and keep the thick hardboard in vertical position at the normal between the two pipes okay and keep a one clock near the end of the one pipe and listen okay on the other pipe okay you have to listen the sound of the clock so here that is we have to measure the angle of incidence and reflection so the sound of the clock is clearly heard here when the angle of incidence of sound is equal to the angle of reflection of the sound if both the angles are equal that is incident and reflected okay both this angle of equal then we can listen the clearly heard the sound of the clock okay then second one uh, that is lift the pipe on the right vertically to a small height observe what happened so here when the pipe on the right is lifted vertically to a small height the sound of the clock is not heard okay we cannot be listen the sound of the clock so the reason is that the right tube is now no longer in the same plane as the incident sound and the normal okay again i repeat that when a pipe of the right is lifted vertically to a small height the sound of the clock is not heard the reason is that the right tube is now no longer in the same plane as the incident sound and the normal so this is the reason now next year that is a uh, we discuss about the echo so we have to be heard the echo in that is a auditorium room okay or in a big hall wait
नाउ क्लियर नो ओके वेट now yes sir. okay 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 we'll start from the echo okay we discuss about the echo so when a person shout in empty auditorium okay in our school that is auditorium room okay so when a person shout in an empty auditorium we first hear is original sound and after that we hear the reflected sound in some time okay so in a big hall or in empty auditorium we first hear his original sound and after that we hear the reflected sound and this reflected sound is called an echo okay so this is the echo so when a person shout in an empty auditorium or big hall we first hear is original sound and after that we hear the reflected sound and this reflected sound is called an echo so to hear an echo the distance from the reflected uh, that is reflecting surface must be at least 17.2 meter the distance between that is to hear the echo the distance from the reflecting surface must be at least 17.2 meter so whatever we have to assuming the speed of sound in air at 22 degrees celsius it must be 344 meter per second okay so echo may be heard more than once due to successive multiple reflection sometime echoes may be heard more than one due to successive multiple reflection and the rolling of thunder is due to successive reflection of the sound from a number of reflecting surface as for example clouds okay so here that is uh, echo that is uh, that is uh, 22 degrees celsius speed of sound is 300 44 meter per second okay and temperature at that time 22 degrees celsius in air medium okay so that is sound must go to the obstacle and reach back to the ear of listener on reflecting after the 0.1 second so as you know that speed equal to that is distance upon time speed equal to distance upon time so distance equal to speed multiply by time okay distance equal to speed multiply by time now speed that is 344 meter per second and multiply by time 0.1 second so we obtain that is 13 34.4 point 34.4 point meter now for hearing distance echo the minimum distance of the obstacle from the source of sound must be half of this distance that is 17.2 meter okay so to hear an echo the distance from the reflecting surface must be at least 17.2 meter okay so here again i repeat that is when a person shout in empty auditorium we first hear its original sound and after that we hear the reflected sound and this reflected sound is called an echo okay to hear an echo the distance from the reflecting surface must be at least 17.2 meter okay and echo may be heard more than once due to successive multiple reflection here the rolling of thunder is uh, due to successive reflection of sound from number of reflecting surfaces as for example clouds such as clouds okay now next topic is reverberation so here that is uh, the persistence of sound in auditorium due to repeated reflection 
sometimes we have to be observe the echo that is a repeated reflection from the wall or ceiling it is known as the reverberation okay so the persistence of sound in an auditorium due to repeated reflections from wall ceiling it is known as the reverberation and excessive reverberation is highly undesirable it is highly undesirable reverberation can be reduced by covering the ceiling and the walls with sound absorbent material okay if you have to see there in our auditorium room that is a ceiling okay ceiling as well as wall there will be some absorbent material should be kept there okay absorbent material that is a, a roof as well as walls of audio are generally covered with the sound material that is absorbent material like compressed fireboard rough plaster or drapers okay drap that is parda shade curtain okay we should be kept there and the sheet material also selected on the basis of their sound absorbing property so it means that excessive reverberation is highly undesirable reverberation can be reduced by covering the ceiling and the walls with sound absorbent material okay so here there will be i repeat that is reverberation the persistence of sound in an auditorium is due to repeated reflection from the wall ceiling is known as the reverberation and excessive reverberation is highly undesirable okay and uh, that is reverberation can be reduced by covering the ceiling and the walls with sound absorbent material like uh, compressed fireboard rough plaster all draperies draperies means curtain okay curtains the sheet material also selected on the basis of their sound absorbing properties okay so what is the meaning of reverberation the persistence of sound in an auditorium due to repeated reflection from the wall or ceiling it is known as the reverberation okay now next one we discuss about the uses uses of multiple reflection that is a megaphone horn okay the reflection of sound is used in megaphones this reflected sound is used in megaphones horns musical instruments the medical instrument stethoscope okay medical instrument stethoscope curve ceiling of it this curve ceiling these are the curve ceiling in upper side so there is curve ceiling of a con concert hall sound board placed behind the stage so all these are the uses of multiple reflection of the sound so the reflection of sound is used in megaphones horns musical instrument the medical instrument as stethoscope curve ceiling of a concert hall sound board placed behind the stage all these are used in a multiple reflection of the sound so one by one we take in detail that is for the megaphone first megaphones and horns okay so that is loud speaker okay megaphones that is a bugle okay all the musical instrument such as trumpets shahnai okay all are designed to send sound in particular direction okay without spreading in all direction so in this instrument that is a, a tube followed by conical shape opening reflect sound waves from the source in the forward direction okay forward towards the audience that is horns and megaphones then second one that is stethoscope so in a stethoscope it is a medical instrument used for listening to sound produced within a body okay so chiefly in the heart or the lungs so stethoscope the sound of the patient heartbeat reaches the doctor ears by multiple reflection of the sound as shown in the figure then next one
that is the ceiling of the concert hall okay so conference hall or cinema hall are covered so that sound after reflection which is all corners of the hall as shown in the figure sometimes a curved sound bar may be placed behind the stage so that sound after reflecting from the sound bar spread evenly across the width of the wall so these are that is the sound bar placed behind the stage so these are all the example related uses of multiple reflection of the sound